Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Indian Air Force is activating the civil airfield of Jolly Grant Airport. A detachment of two fighter jets will operate from the airport for two days, from 19th to 20th February. The detachment of two Su-30 MKI would operate from the airfield for two days, for the familiarization of the area, before returning to their main base. The press service of Russian Security Council has said that Russia and India have confirmed their plans to broaden practical cooperation in cybersecurity. The two sides have confirmed their intention to expand practical cooperation, including the exchange of technological information. An advanced system developed by a consortium of Indian defense laboratories in order to defend naval ships against torpedoes will now be integrated on 30 ships operated by the Indian Navy. While 11 ships will be equipped with the full system of the Marich advanced torpedo decoy system, the remaining ships will be equipped with just the torpedo countermeasure capability, which is also a part of the system. The chairman of Indian Space Research Organization, K. Shivan has said that the rover of India's second lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2, costing nearly 800 crore rupees, will be landing near the unexplored South Pole, which is a very tricky place to land. All the 12 other moon landings have always been on the equatorial region. The South Pole region has rocks that were formed a million years ago and could give new insights to understand the origin of universe. China has long depicted that the J-20 is a competitor to the American F-22 and F-35. The J-20 aircraft was initially powered by a specially designed W-15 engine, but the W-15 engine have been unable to handle the high temperatures and maneuverability of the J-20. However, the F-119 engine of F-22 allow it to reach supersonic speeds without using afterburners, which allows them to maintain their stealth. As the J-20 doesn't have such an engine, the aircraft lacks stealth features while traveling at supersonic speeds. China's newest J-20 are being equipped with WS-10B engines, which is not able to power the J-20 to supersonic speeds without the use of afterburners. China had requested Russia to sell its advanced engines, but Russia has refused because of concerns that China would reverse engineer the engines, as it has done with other military systems. According to a senior professor, the Indian Space Research Organization is ready with technologies that are needed for human space missions and only political clearance is needed. ISRO is also working to master the recovery of the space capsule and developing a reusable launch vehicle that would reduce the cost. Pakistan has contracted another loan of $500 million from China to shore up its depleting reserves. In January, the country took a total of $704 million worth of new loans, taking foreign borrowings to $6.6 billion in just seven months. As of December 2017, the total external liabilities of Pakistan stands at $88.9 billion.